Ah, <laughs> I had a nightmare that I was an offer only. <laughs> Good morning, Elle. Are you ready to spend the day with me? So normally I wake up between the hours of nine and nine. And some things that I do when I first wake up, I do firmly believe in the importance of super hydration. Sometimes you can put water in a fun glass to make it a little more fun. Kind of first cocktail of the day, so to speak. I have two phones. I have a bad phone and I have a good phone. One phone exclusively has all social media and the other phone does not. So this is my bad phone. So in the morning I like to wake up and when I'm still in that kind of Pre-conscious, dreamy space, I like to kind of do a direct fire hose of human suffering right into my face, which is a really sacred part of my morning routine. And then on my good phone, that's where I'm texting, that's where I'm doing work emails, but I'm kind of constantly going between the two. But the bad phone stays at home, I don't take it out. But in the morning, we have fun, and sometimes I'll scroll for hours. I just think that's kind of an important thing to kind of ground myself in just like techno-fascist companies. I might be the oldest person to ever do an L wake up with me. It's an honor to be here with the young girlies. I'm obviously still extremely young, but it is brave for me to show myself with no makeup on, just having woken up three minutes ago. I was completely asleep. It was actually terrifying at first when I saw the cameras and I thought, well, I didn't agree to this. And then I realized that I had. One thing that I'm obsessed with, please don't look at my hands. I don't have a manicure. It's called Fend. I don't really know the science of it, but I've been religiously doing it for about two years now. You inhale this mist, and it's supposed to prevent viruses from entering your nose. I don't know if it works, but I think it does, and it's become almost a religiously sacred item, and I do it at least three times a day. I love a hand cream. I'm constantly focusing on moisturization. This is kind of the latest one that I love, and it smells really great. I try to use green products as much as I can that don't have synthetic fragrance, but sometimes you need that synthetic fragrance. Wow, I mean, even that, it's just really overwhelming. I am addicted to coffee. Coffee does something to me that is otherworldly. I can send up to 16 emails in two minutes on coffee. It makes me feel powerful. Language capabilities that I don't ordinarily have. Sometimes it causes me to act out. My brain is calcified by ADHD. Coffee, I think, kind of allows me sometimes to perform at a certain level that I wouldn't be able to without the java. Normally, my kids will pile on the bed with me and say, wake up. Wake up, mommy. I don't actually have kids, but I like to imagine that were I to choose to have children, I would have exclusively daughters, obviously, and that they would kind of pile in the bed with me, wake me up. That would be really amazing, actually. So then after a couple hours of scrolling my phone, I will go outside to get some natural sunlight to slow down melatonin production, get that vitamin D directly on the backs of my eyelids. Come with me, won't you? I love my higher dose PEMF infrared mat. It has crystals embedded into the mat. It's supposed to ground you to the earth's energy to help you sleep, help you heal. If I did this, I'd become more productive, be a better person. I have yet to do that. I don't really read the fine print, but it was a generous gift, I'll be honest, and I really appreciate it. I plan to integrate it into my life. In the next 20 years, I've been a little preoccupied, haven't been able to do it daily, but I do kind of dream of a day where I could maybe do this and ground to the earth. This is a great place to check in with upsetting world events, texting with people that you no longer feel connected to. The powerful magnetic charge of the phone also seeks to restore the Earth's balance. And you can also, yeah, I mean, kind of, that's me. Don't like what I'm seeing, I'll be honest. I have, I think, a healthy self-image, like I'm fine, but sometimes you see yourself and you go, well, that's not me, that can't be. <sighs> you work with what you have. I'm kidding, I love myself. So I'm gonna kind of just show you what I do on like an average day when I don't really want to do a, a ton of makeup, but after you've prepped the skin, I'll maybe put on a little bit of highlighter here, just on the high points to kind of, well, that wasn't well done at all, was it? No, hyper self-conscious. I've never had anyone film me as I do my makeup. And again, I have no makeup on right now. 
If it's an average one a day, I'll do a tinted Beauty Tint the Ilia. It's probably my fifth bottle, I'm not kidding, okay? Love this stuff, gives you sort of a glow. So I used to be always terrified of bronzer. God, look how absolutely dirty. This is how real it is. So that I didn't even have time to clean the brushes. So I'm showing the reality, okay? This is the palette of a real woman. It's filthy, it's used. The technology has broken, it no longer clicks shut. It just kind of flops open. And look who's not afraid of the bronzer anymore. Yeah. So, you know, do a little here, dirty brush. It's always important to use a dirty brush. And then, you know, kind of uh, uh, highlight those points. Great. You're gonna really wanna get this. Look at that, absolutely disgusting. You can kind of see the way that the powder has caked the whole thing. You know what this is? Something that you really use. I find it hard to really find on the market those kind of matte brown shades that I like. So, you know, sure, maybe today I'll put on a little eyeshadow. You know, sort of there, almost nothing. And then I don't really use eyeliner, but I love to use a darker brown sort of as an eyeliner. I'm going in again, extremely self-conscious, hands on the verge of trembling. In no way will I be able to accurately, truly portray my makeup routine because a watch pot, as we know, never boils, and a watch woman, a watch woman actually is just real. We're always watched, aren't we? Even when we're alone, it feels like we're being watched. Why is that? Oh, the culture. I almost never use concealer. As you can see, there's some acne there. This is life, this is reality. Dirty makeup, dirty brushes that you haven't cleaned, is that perpetuating the acne? Absolutely, why haven't you cleaned them? So then I'll go in here. I can feel that the youth are watching and I just don't want, I hope the youth aren't judging. And again, I identify as youthful, but I don't have TikTok and so I don't know. Actually, Cut that. I don't want people to know that I don't have TikTok because that really makes me seem geriatric. I was terrified of these for years because one time somebody used one on me and pinched me. And then the trauma of that was, has been radiating for years. And then very recently I decided not to be scared anymore. And now I can't believe that I went so, I went years, years of my life without this. And now opens up the eye. This is sort of like a basic, it's like a little bit of makeup, just enough to make you feel um, not like a complete wench, but you know, doesn't take much time. Yeah, lip stuff. So this is how you know a beloved product. Look at that. Again, disgusting. Are you getting that? Look how dirty that is. I'm so sorry. The disrespect to not clean this. And again, no manicure. This is the most authentic wake up with me. Yeah. Well, that doesn't look right. Okay. With the hands. Blending with the hands, with the fingers. Okay, let's put this scrunchie down, for the love of God. Okay. And then as kind of a final everyday hair thing, I like a hair oil. I really love the F. Miller hair oil right now. I have so much hair on my head, as you can see, that whatever I put in my hair sort of becomes my fragrance. So I love the way this smells. It smells like a woman who meditates. And so I put this in my hair lately, kind of at the ends add a little moisture. I wanna say I look like a dog, not in the negative connotation, but just like, this looks to me like, sometimes I see images of myself from behind. So I'm like, that's an animal. Yeah, so this is kind of just, you know, going to meet someone for coffee, put something on, but I mean, do I love it? I don't know, I can go, I could go harder. I could put on more shadow, I could, but I just, I don't. Why is there lipstick on my chin? Why is the chin red? These are the kind of mysteries that I don't, I don't know why that happens. Here, I'll remove some redness. Live removal of redness. Live removal of redness. It's better. It's all blending. This is the truth. Makeup application is blending. You just blend. You blend, and then you blend some more. Thank you for waking up with me. Ultimately, if you're able to wake up, that alone is a triumph. I hope you're able to find some sacred moments in that. Some days it's heaven, some days it's hell. That is not what I was planning to do. And I can just, yeah. See, now it's great. What I thought was an accident actually was necessary hydration. So thank you for having me. Good night.